Hey guys, uh, welcome to Scott's Place and today I got another little project. This time I'm going to make a tray um, to bring uh, food to your wife in bed. So let's get started. Okay, all these half I just cut. Oh, well, by the way, this is maple, so it is pretty hard. I got uh, two, four, six, eight. I got a dozen pieces. I'm gonna plane down to about seven sixteen, um, or even as small as I can. Let's see where I'm at. Uh, So I'm going to go down to 3 eighths and uh, I'll try to go down as much as possible. The planer is limited to about, I think it's 5 sixteenths or something. So here we go. One surface is already done. I did it before. But now the other side, because I went on the table saw, needs to be redone. So here we go. Okay, well, here we have it. All the bottom is I got all my parts here, and uh, I'm just gonna glue all these. Get, there's three pieces here, so I'm gonna glue those and clamp them. So I'm just gonna get my my clamps ready. It's important you get glue right on the edges. There you have it, the bottom for my tray is done, nice and dry, um, and my four, my four sides, so now I gotta take my miter saw and cut this square, and prep my sides, I'm gonna do a 45 degree angle on my four sides, that should square them up, so let me cut this square now.
Well, it's all clamped up. Now I'm going to come back in a few hours. Okay, here what I'm doing is I'm just creating little splices. And I'm going to put a little darker wood in here. It'll make it look uh, somewhat decorative and it'll give it a little extra strength on the corners. So that's what I'm doing right now. Give it a little contrast and uh, should be pretty nice while reinforcing the corners. There you go guys, I just finished staining this, I just rubbed some color on it, wiped the excess off and uh, now I'm about to put some a varnish on here, uh, I'm trying this new varnish, it's called Max Maxitane, uh, fast dry 3 hours, so let's see. There you go folks, another job finished. Um, serving tray with uh, urethane on it and uh, the stain was just some old stain I had. I just rubbed it on, put a little color on it and then voila, here it's done. White maple, it should last a long time. Uh, Alright guys, on that note, we'll catch you guys on my next video.